Prince George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll slap on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. The jungle is a dark and dangerous place, especially with deadly spears flying through the air. <gasps> George! This is the poisonous asparagus, George. We need the kind you eat. Well, how can you tell the difference? Okay, bananas, check. Hmm. What's monkey thumb? That's, uh, my thumb on the list. Oh, so we already got it. Check! You gather these other ingredients while I go home and start dinner. <laughs> Mushroom, check. <gasps> Carrot, check. Hmm. George saw this plant once before. A long time ago. Oh, not that long ago. That's it! <laughs> ah, George remembers the good old days. Good. Feels good to remember. Oh, I should remember here, too. Yeah. Oh, remember this? And this? Yeah, I remember. Ah. No! Once there was an ape, a great, great ape, the greatest ape of all. Oops. <laughs> oh, hey. Sometimes you just gotta sing it. The, the greatest, greatest ape of all. <gasps> George, what happened? Your face is all red and swollen. Oh, now I call that color more sunrise vermilion, but you're definitely swollen. Don't be silly. Don't be. <laughs> Hey, Ape, when did we get this big red talking balloon? Uh, I am afraid it's itchy swellitis. The worst thing you can possibly do is to scratch it. So George should get friend to scratch. No, no. Scratch with a stick? Mm-mm. Let in his scratchy tree head first? Uh, no. The only antidote is this. Ah, oh, that brings back memories. Hmm. <laughs> ah, memories. <laughs> I mean, no! George will never take that stuff again! <laughs> <laughs> that was years ago. We have a new formula now. It tastes like uh, a bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> The itch of a thousand scratches! There's only one cure. You must bathe in a bathtub of crocodile spit under the full moon. That's ridiculous! <laughs> yeah! Then where can George get that much crocodile spit? I just got a shipment. Loofah? No medicine, no spit, no loofah. George just won't scratch and everything will be fine. <laughs> George! No medicine, no medicine! Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> nice work, Chef. George, just drink the medicine. No. It'll cure you. No. But it's delicious. I'll prove it. Hey, show us how yummy this is. Be right back. George has had it with friends' unflinching support. Trying to take care of George, worried about his health, looking out for his happiness. Enough! Ow! Itchy! 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 George, we're very worried about you. 
Go away. And we've come up with a way to help you without the medicine. Oh, you invented porcupine pajamas? It's not clothing exactly. It's more of uh, an accessory. Oh, how long does George have to wear this? Until your itch goes away. George, looky, we can decorate it. Hmm, not bad. Put a cone on my face. We wouldn't have to do this if you just drink the medicine. Can't drink without a mouth. No. No, George. And I say the words itch, ah. scratch. Oh, oh blessed relief. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Ah. 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 Hey. Ah. I'm sorry, George. That was partially our fault. You can't work if you're scratching all the time. And what can you be if you're not king of the jungle? A convenient dinner? Oh, don't be ridiculous. All you've done is be supportive and helpful. George needs a friend who will let him scratch his butt off. Oops, did that yesterday. And so our inflamed idol tried hard not to scratch, but he tried even harder to get scratched. Uh, whoa, you got a lot of cones. <laughs> let me guess, supportive friends? Yeah. Then I've got a big surprise for you. Follow me. Ow! Oh, ow! Ow! What is this place? A place where animals are free to scratch. <laughs> it's... it's so... beautiful. Welcome to the land of the animals who refuse to take that pink medicine. They try to fool us with the bubblegum flavor, but it's all the same stuff. Horrible liquid! Horrible liquid! No! The problem isn't the yucky, nasty blah, <laughs> medicine. The problem is our friends. Yeah! yeah. Our friends. Our friends. Let's eat them! Yeah! Eat our friends! Eat our friends! Eat our friends! Eat our friends! Eat our friends. We have to educate our friends. For without education, friends are just stupid people we know. Well, how do we educate our friends? A, a brochure? We could post flyers. I got it! Welcome, friends who used to be friends. We hope tonight's show will shine a light on a big social problem. Curtains, please! <laughs> <laughs> Got an itch right here on my derriere And my scratching finger is so oh so near Bamboo, bamboo well, You can reach it with a stiff bamboo What's black and white and red all over It's your son Just because we're swelling doesn't mean that we're not swell. They just don't understand. We, we want, want to scratch each other's hand. <laughs> to scratch <laughs> the impossible itch. Ain't it swell? Ain't it red? Gonna scratch a big itch on my head. Bigger nails down my tail. Could we have been so supportive? 
Ursula, only human. A toast to the magnificent and very swollen cast. To greater understanding. <laughs> 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 Sneaky, conniving friends trick George into getting better. Ah, uh, look on the bright side, George. Now you can help me with my idea for a new musical. It's about a young ape with big dreams and a, and a lot of spunk. I call it The Greatest Ape of All. <laughs> George has never run so fast. <laughs> never paddled so powerfully. <laughs> and never lingered so little over his chili cheese mango. Could George get that to go? Don't worry. George will get you back to your mommy, little... <laughs> chili cheese mango? No! Oh. Yuck! Where's my baby? Don't worry, ma'am. <laughs> yes, it's George's cousin, Larry of the Jungle. <laughs> Note his fancy loincloth, impractical shoes, and his love for Cousin George. Oof! I believe this is yours. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Cousin Larry! Hey, George, see how I saved that baby taper? Did you see it? I got a trophy. Look, it's shiny. It sure is. Lucky I brought my trophy case. You sure have a lot of trophies, Cousin Larry. Well, you only win if you're a winner, and I'm a winner, George. Hugging contest? I win. Come on, Seven. Oh, no, Snake Mouth. Don't you mean Snake Eyes? No, I mean Mouth. He ate the dice. <laughs> Oh, no, it's George's cousin, Larry. A guest! Maybe he brought presents! Uh, Larry is completely obnoxious. Ever since they were little kids, he had to beat George at everything. My sandcastle's bigger than yours. I win! My shovel's bigger than yours. I win! My pet is... <laughs> smaller than yours. I win! Oh, I thought I had you on that one. And George never calls him on it. Why not? George is just too nice to realize that Larry is a conniving troublemaker. <laughs> I got here first. I win. Yeah. Cousin Larry, you remember Ape. Hi, Ape. I said hi first. I win. Hi, Larry. And this is Ursula and Magnolia. A board game? Let me play. I have my own dice. 85. I win. Larry, L-A-R-R-Y, he's the always winning guy. Funny. You must be tired after dragging that beautiful trophy case all the way here. Join us for dinner? Race you to that tree. Lose a dozen dishes. I win. Enthusiastic. I like that. First place three-legged race. First person to climb Mike Everest. Uh, a guy he went to school with. <laughs> Guess who lost again to Larry? Hey, hey. I just rifle through your closet. You know who has the most blue shirts? Me! Let's celebrate me winning by going on a picnic. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> Sorry to make you guys carry everything, but I did beat you at the having fewest letters in your name contest. Wait a minute. I have the shortest name. Animals not included, no take backs, no give backs, no double whammies. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Let's relax for a little while before we eat. <laughs> Ooh, who's most relaxed? Me, I'm not even moving. I win. I get to jump on everyone's stomach. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. I never get this angry. I don't get tired of new shoes as fast as I'm getting tired of cousin Larry. Shh. Larry's winning sleeping contest. Mm -hmm. Win. Mm -hmm. Win. George, we hate to say this, but Cousin Larry has to go! Shh! I can't kick out George's family! 
<laughs> yes, we can. In fact, let's have a contest to see how far out we can kick him. But Larry gave us the picnic! Don't you see? He's a winaholic. He only picks games he can't lose. I hate to say this, George, but I'm in complete agreement. Ha! There, see? No, George, with Magnolia. Boy, Abe changes mind pretty quick. I always agreed with Magnolia. I don't like him. None of us do. Also, we believe he cheats. <gasps> George will sit on forgetting Rock now until he forgets what Abe just said. I forget. Where is Forgetting Rock? So, George sat upon the Forgetting Rock, and he forgot. He forgot and forgot until he couldn't remember what he was forgetting. <laughs> Big hairy beast is growling, but George forgets what he's supposed to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this guy anywhere? George's cousin Larry. Yeah, he's staying with me and Ape, but Ape was mean to him. Uh-oh, George was supposed to forget that. Forget. Beat Larry, beat Larry. Hey, wait, George won't let you hurt Larry. We won't hurt Larry. We Yeti are scary, but peaceful creatures. We do not fight with our fists. We fight by eating pies, you see. We Yeti take great pride in our pie eating, and each spring, we win the annual pie gobbling holdout. For centuries, Yetis have won. This year, we were robbed. We are absolutely convinced that Larry cheated at... Yeah? Uh, I forgot. There's no way Larry ate more pies than a Yeti. They're famous for that and stealing Mountaineer's girlfriends. He must have cheated. George will prove Larry's no cheater at a jungle pie gobbling rematch with that bunch of sore loser yetis. Yetis? Um, you know, George, maybe instead we can just flip a coin. Look, I have one right here. <laughs> hmm, why so nervous, Larry? You win every contest, remember? Maybe we could do this at night. Uh, in the dark, I'm usually hungrier around 9, 9.30? Nope, broad daylight, so everyone will see Larry win. Will there be a pie-eating puppy under the table? No way! Plus, George has a dozen unbribable monkey judges examine every pie. Oh, ow, my stomach, my head, my throat, my ankles! Larry's award-winning champion stomach, head, throat, ankles hurts? It's a rare two-hour virus. No problem. I'll just tell everyone to wait. I mean, 22-hour virus. George will have to eat in my place. <laughs> Please, George, we're family. Oh, all right. George will do it for family. Yeah! <laughs> George, you don't have to do this. Larry can forfeit. Never! Then everyone might think Cousin Larry is a cheater. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Begin! George to win. Oh, oh. George, I didn't want to tell you this because I didn't think you'd believe me. But Larry made a bet that you would lose. What? Ow. Larry not sick? Larry cheated? I bet my room in the treehouse that you can do without cheating what he can only do with fake stomachs and pie-eating dogs in his pants. I believe in you, George. George won't let Ape down. For once, George going to beat lying, cheating, faking Larry. Let's do this! It's all tied up! Come on, George! You can do it! Almost there. Way harder! Go! 
for this honor. And now, George would like to give this trophy to your loving, much more deserving cousin to the first Yeti to chase Cousin Larry out of the jungle. Yeah! What? <laughs> when? <laughs> George, that was amazing. To celebrate, let's go out to dinner. Uh oh. I think, I think I'm going to wait. Get a garbage can! Out for that tree, little Ibex. Just get it off me. There. That tree will never hurt anyone again. Nice rock. Yeah. Hiya, George. Hi, Abe. Look what George did. You moved the rock? It asked nicely. George, it says danger. Do not move this rock. Anything, eh? It's just a cave. You're not afraid of a dark old cave, are you? You check it out. I'll stay up here eating this coconut. Hmm. My toes are all gooey. Mine too. It smells like cheese. It looks like whatever was trapped in this cave went that away. Ursula Magnolia! <laughs> Have you seen anything outside that's eating the trees? We've just been hanging out with our new pet, Clementine. Isn't she the cutest? Yeah. No. Well, if you see something destroying the jungle, let me know. George, look. It's goo, like from the cave. Hmm. Let's take a sample to the doctors. <laughs> Just take the whole branch, George. Oh. Ah. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with you or the goo. It's perfectly good goo. Ow! But where does it come from? Every time a tree gets cut down, it's there. <laughs> Ancient wisdom says to know goo <laughs> must taste goo. Mm. Mm. Uh. Take that out of your mouth. You look silly. 
Why do we keep coming here? Free candy! Now, Clementine. Cute little pet. Don't spit goo. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, Maggie, I found Clementine in my bug book. See? Now we can figure out what to feed her. It's called a spitting screech beetle. That picture looks so realistic. <laughs> oh, my! My book! She ate the pages! <laughs> well, ain't she the cutest? <laughs> you want to go outside and do that, sweetie? Hmm? No problem. Use the pet door, Clementine. <laughs> <sighs> George should climb up here more often. Such a great view. George, we're trying to find the monster that's devouring the trees. There it is. George doesn't see it. <laughs> now I see it. George, Clementine is the monster. She's the one destroying the junk. Keeps eating like that, Jungle will become as bald as a baboon's butt. Without all the pretty colors. Stop, Beetle! <laughs> you missed me. Got it. <laughs> to rid the jungle of this tree-eating scourge, they had but one problem. <laughs> what to tell Ursula? Where's my cute little buggy bug? Hoping that she would be fooled by a decoy made from paper mache. Our courageous duo took the beetle through the canyon of pricker bushes. <laughs> across the desert desert and the always fun garden of exploding roses. <sighs> Our destination at last. Problem solved island. Problem solved. <laughs> but their sacrifice and smug satisfaction was smashed when they came home to... <laughs> a strange surprise. Where have you two been? Look at the habitat I built for Clementine. I... But we... But he... How did... I... I thought... And I used Clementine's goo on my hair. It's the latest style. She must have followed us back. Girls, Clementine is bad. She eats trees and spits cheese. I made a rhymey thingy. Oh, that's ridiculous. Look at her. You have got to let us take her. You can take her for a walk after her nap. Now it's time for her massage, so shh, uh... run along. Far side of Problem Solved Island. That should do it. What is going on here? Sorry, Ursula. We have to take your tree-eating beetle away. Clementine is harmless. Maybe it's one of the other beetles. Other? Okay. The rest are outside. I think they're, you know, doing their business. <laughs> I don't see them eating any trees. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, did you miss the part where we said these beetles eat wood? George, you're the king of the jungle. So tell those beetles to cut it out. Beetles! As king of the jungle, I command you to stop eating the jungle! <gasps> George can't get beetles to listen. If they won't listen to the king of the jungle, who will they listen to? It is 
George, uh, your beetle king. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Go down in hole. I command you. Wait, not me. Uh, not me. You. Wait, I'm not really. <laughs> I don't stand on the first date! Oh, you mean that? Oh, you keep your six hands to yourself! <laughs> Ma'am, I. Oh, no, no, I just wait! <laughs> I'm not even a beetle! <laughs> George, we did it! <laughs> George, no! Wait! Don't! But I have to say goodbye. We had a kooky time, huh? But if I let you out, you'll destroy the jungle, won't you? Yeah. Well, then, this is goodbye, isn't it? Oh! Huh? Somebody ought to do something about that leak. George is gifted with superior sight and the superior ability to smell. Science to stop him. Why don't you use your magic, Buck? George, you're au natural. Yes, George is a natural rescuer. No, no, I mean you're buck naked. <laughs> No, I'm George. You know, of jungle. <laughs> <laughs> you <you've> lost. <laughs> lost your loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> George needs a new loincloth. Did the jungle just get colder? Turned. George! He's not there. Don't you? Ciao, boy! What's that, Shep? You want a coconut? Is that what you want? Now, I don't speak elephant, but I think he's saying George is down by the lagoon. Let's go. Shep, go get George's loincloth. Good boy. No, Shep, loincloth, loincloth. Oh. 
Dookie Dookie, get my loincloth. George needs to get home and fast. Psst. Ape. Ape. Hey, ape. George. Huh, came from over there. Did you hear that? A merit badge to the girl who finds the animal that made that noise. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of screaming in the jungle today. Oh, George. <sighs> Phew. They stopped chasing George and throwing rocks. <clears throat> okay, sun is there. Volcano there. I am here. So tree house must be. Oh heck, I don't know. Yes, clothes! Beautiful clothes! Why not? I say, Dr. Livingood, what a relief to finally find you. Oh, no, no. George's name is George. And after eight long months of searching... Georgia. Oh, terrible journey. Storms at sea, pirates, cannibals, pirate cannibals. Oh, I would have found you too. If I hadn't fallen into that hole... You fell down there? And I never came out. Bad luck that, eh? Wait... If you're there... But you're also here... That means you're a... 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 <laughs> right, so if you're a... A ghost! Uh, <laughs> and I'm wearing your clothes. <sighs> Boo? Then I must be wearing ghost pants! <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> and so, George continues his journey in search of his elusive loincloth across deserts. Hot, hot, hot. Over snow-capped mountains, cold, cold, cold. across raging rivers, wet, wet, wet. No, no. <laughs> yeah, why are you hiding? <laughs> I lost my loincloth. <gasps> you mean you make it? <laughs> Prophecies are true! According to these ancient hieroglyphics, a man with no clothes will arrive and become our king. George is a man? Hmm. With no clothes? Hmm. I give you your king! <laughs> uh, why do you throw wood under George's throne? It's part of the ceremony. Are spices part of the ceremony? And breadcrumbs. This ancient combination of 12 herbs and spices is formulated to keep your majesty succulent and tender and... Uh, happy. <laughs> this is a 
chocolate serum. Mm. Yes, eat, eat. Get nice and fat so we can have you for dinner. Mm. You mean have George over for dinner? Right, so we can have you over for dinner. We'll eat you. What? Eat, eat. I'll be right back. Hmm. Naked man is declared king. Everyone celebrates. <laughs> okay, so far. Oh. <gasps> Fine print. George gets tossed in cauldron. Okay, sure. George gets cooked into soup. Okay, okay. Then they eat the soup. With George in it! And now, my king, it is time to fulfill your destiny! The king has escaped! Get him! Or he gets all puff and stringy! Which path does George take? There he is! George made it. And let's agree that this never happened. Now, to get spare loincloth... Surprise! <gasps> uh, George? I, uh... I got you this. Oh! It's just what I always wanted! <laughs> uh... Yes? Uh... Never mind. <laughs> George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend and eight name eight. And then away he'll slap on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Watch out for that tree. Ooh. Once upon a midnight jungle. While George snored through tooth and tongue, Ape was far too scared for napping. When suddenly, there came a tapping. George! 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 I didn't do it! I didn't do it! No! <laughs> That rhino's eating Shep's food. That's not Shep's. That's George's bag of chunk of munch. Bad rhino. <laughs> you want food? You go get your own. Get out. Uh uh. Too late for puppy eyes. <laughs> What's with George? Last night he had to get tough with a rhino. I think it bothered him. Oh, George was too tough on him. He was just being a hungry widow rhino. Oh, please. That rhino got just what he deserved. G George? George! Rhino! Rhino! <gasps> ah! Rhino, talk to me. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? You wait right here. George is sorry. Here, eat. Eat. <laughs> George, are you sure that's the same rhino? George will never forget that sad look in what used to be his eyes. <laughs> uh. Why don't we take him to my dad and see if he can do something uh, witch doctory? 
<gasps> you hear that, little buddy? George gonna fix you up. Even if we can bring these bones back to life, I mean, should we? It's tampering with the laws of nature. Stop. Oh, Here you go, Riney. <gasps> back away from the patient. It is hard enough to try and speed read the Forbidden Scroll of Forbidden Knowledge. Mutter, 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 mutter. Hmm, what's this? Huh? Oh, that's lightning in a bottle. Very hard to catch. How's it taste? George! No, George! anywhere. Doesn't ancient forbidden practice mean anything to kids today? I have told you, zombies are a scientific impossibility. I don't know what you're all worried about. Forbidden sunscreen. Okay, here we go. Forbidden zombies. Hey, it's forbidden. Do you mind? Look, I'm sure George has this whole thing under control, right? Yup. Uh-huh. Taken care of. <laughs> What the? You girls hide. I'm gonna follow George to see what he's after. What is it, George? Ow! Okay, that's just plain. What's taking him so long? Here. 
to be a zombie to eat these. Ooh, company! I'll get the door! Hallelujah! Oh, don't worry. It's just Tucky. <laughs> Zombie to like that stuff. The jungle at night is a vast, dark, scary place. The invisible spiders above. Where? The undetectable serpents below. And in the middle, the possibility of stepping in something. You don't know what it is. Oh, great. And on the third night, he heard the ghostly knocking again. But as he reached for the door handle... I can't take it! It stopped. <sighs> but then on the fourth night... <gasps> Not the fourth night. The moon was full and the wind was howling. <sighs> <sighs> Again he heard the knocking. He reached for the door handle. He got closer. Oh. Ursula, can I talk to you? Whoa! Oh, this is bad! I didn't know you were gonna tell scary stories. Ooh, this is a good one, too. But George can't handle it. Normally, nothing scares him, but a scary story is something he's really afraid of, and it makes him impossible to live with. Well, uh, no drinkable blood in here! <laughs> no, no, sir! Please, for the sake of my sanity, change the ending to something unscary. <laughs> then what happened? No, don't tell me. Please tell me. No, don't. Wait. George just has to get a flashlight, a baseball bat, a diaper, a bullet to bite on, and another s'more. <laughs> okay. He opened the door. Yeah. And behind the door. Yeah. Standing there was... 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 Uh, nothing. Oh. Is that the 
That's right. Behind the door, there was nothing at all. The end. <laughs> Funny, huh? And not scary. Huh. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Good thing I don't enjoy sleeping. I better get ready for the pot banging and the head sitting and the. Huh? Who are you? Mr. Jungle's head of security. Put your business in the treehouse, sir. I live here. Just a sec. What? It's Eddie. I got an ape down here. Name? Ape. Says his name's Ape. Says he lives here. Is he scary? No, I wouldn't say scary exactly. More furry. George, let me in. Here's that ape. He pulls anything, let me know, and I'll be back up here with the boys. Or he can blink an eye. George, it's me. Prove it. What color are our dishes? Filthy food color with globs of spaghetti. Oh, you're good. What poster does George have hanging over his hammock? A framed enlargement of the cover of Mantler Comics, issue one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, George just changed it. What number am I thinking of? How am I supposed to know that? Quit stalling! Five! You always think of five. <gasps> All right, last question. What's behind you? Nothing. Oops. <laughs> Nothing! Eh? Hmm. Oh. Why are you sleeping out here? Remember that thing I said about George becoming impossible to live with? He's too afraid to let me in the treehouse. What's he afraid of? Nothing. <laughs> then what's his problem? No, he's literally afraid of nothing, and there's nothing everywhere. Oh, that's ridiculous. Tell George I think he's being ridiculous. I'm sure that'll help. Hi. Hi. Two pieces of ID, please. Ow! I'll need this for DNA testing. Ain't see anything outside? No, nothing. I mean... George knew it. Nothing's out there. Waiting for me. George, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's what I've been saying. Look, just because Ursula's story ended with that word, there's no reason to be afraid of that word. Go to sleep. Not until Ape checks the closet. What does they see? A large hungry monster wearing a bib holding a knife and fork. Oh, oh well, better than nothing. Well, good night. Uh -huh. George, I'm gonna be outside doing some gardening. Oh. George, what's this in my gloves? Oh, uh, there was nothing inside them, so I filled them with gravy. Uh, at least it's something, huh? George. Oh. Where are you? I'm in the bathroom. Now our bathroom is a steel safety chamber. If anything goes wrong, just pull the evacuation switch. Isn't this a bit extreme? No, it's waterproof and fireproof. Nothing can get in and nothing can get out. <gasps> nothing can get out! Normally, George isn't afraid of anything. But now, because of that story, he's completely afraid of nothing. I've got an idea. Uh, tell him the story again, but change the nothing at the door to something so ridiculous George would never see it. What? I know stuff. Okay, it has to be something that George will never find in the jungle in a million years. How's about something from one of them stupid gift catalogs? Like a, a jewel-encrusted breast pickle. <clears throat> it's just something I've always kind of wanted. I checked the perimeter, boss. There's no nothing anywhere. Hey! Jewel-encrusted brass pickle. Ha! Well, that'd be a great thing to have. I've never seen one in the jungle. 
Georgia. Of the jungle. Big tree house, middle of jungle. Tookie, tookie! Tookie, tookie! Good, tookie. Uh, deliver this for George. Bot! Suspicious hairy biped at six o'clock. George, glad I caught you. That story of Ursula's the other night? Well, she got the ending wrong. But if nothing wasn't behind the door, then... <gasps> Where was it? She's going to tell it again with the right ending tonight. <sighs> Back off, Weasel. And he opened the door, and behind it was... A jewel-encrusted brass pickle! Pickle! That's impossible! Aw, oh, come on. You can't be afraid now. What are the chances a jewel-encrusted pickle would show up in the jungle? <laughs> George! Mail! Ooh! The new 80 cent banana stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, George. There's a. <laughs> George? If that's a brass jewel encrusted pickle, George's not here. George, you can't hide in there forever. That's what she thinks. Can opener. Check. Flashlight. Batteries. Self inflating getaway boat. Check, check, and check. <laughs> I've got an idea. How about I just tell George the truth? For some reason, that scares me more than the pickle. The truth about the campfire story. No twist, no spin. Maybe if George hears how silly the real ending is, he'll get over this for good. Eight pair of socks, two thermal. George? Yes? I have a confession. I made up those endings because Ape told me to. You dragged me into this. Well, you did. I'm gonna tell you what's really behind the door in the story. Not a pickle? No, and it's not nothing. Not a pickle holding nothing? Nope. You're gonna laugh. It's so out there. So the guy opens the door, and standing outside... Yeah? ...is a vampire zombie weasel! <laughs> <laughs> zombie weasel near the funniest thing. Oh, no. 